And now to this story tonight, a Riverside community ravaged by a deadly wildfire back in 2019 is now reacting to an arrest in that case. Prosecutors say the driver of a garbage truck is to blame. Here's KCAL 9's Nicole Comstock with more. The gate at the front of the Villa Kela Mesa mobile home park is padlocked shut. It's still deemed a dangerous construction area a year and a half after the Sandalwood fire destroyed 72 homes here. My mom's home was burnt to the ground. She lost her dog. Um, she lost all of her heirlooms. She had to figure out how to completely rebuild her life and it was very hard. But Samantha and her mom know it was even harder on the families who lost loved ones. Two of her neighbors were killed in the flames. It was the perfect storm of conditions. It was very dry vegetation, very high winds, and then he has this freak accident where the trash is on fire. Now, after all this time, the man accused of igniting the fire has been arrested and charged with involuntary manslaughter. Investigators say Antonio Ornelas Velasquez broke the law when he unloaded burning trash from the CRNR garbage truck near a dry field in Homes. Reportedly, as other drivers warned him to find a safer spot because of the wind. Industry guidance is to find an open area like a parking lot if they have to dump burning trash. And many people in town believe Velasquez's employer is partially to blame. I heard that he was on the phone with his boss and he asked, is this what I'm supposed to do? And his boss confirmed yes. An attorney representing most of the victims says it was CRNR's corporate policy of profits over people that led to the deaths of these two innocent people and the loss of irreplaceable property. Attorney Stephen Dillon sent us a written statement saying the decision whether to risk the safety of innocent victims or save a truck should never have to be made. We will see that this heartless policy changes as a result of this terrible tragedy. CRNR did not respond to a request for comment, but previously said they take safety seriously and grieved for the lives lost. Samantha hopes they're held responsible for some part of this and improve emergency training for their employees. I believe that justice should be served, but I don't think it's this man's full responsibility. Reporting in Kalamasa, Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News.